Oh, now, you might remember voting last year on ranked voting. Austin voters said yes to doing away with runoff elections at the local level. So why are you being asked to go to the polls right now for a runoff election? KXN's Grace Reader explains. Austin voters approved a proposition last year to transition to ranked choice voting. It's just what it sounds like. Instead of voting for just one candidate, you would rank them in order of favorite to least favorite. If a candidate wins a majority of first choices, that candidate wins the election. If not, the last place candidate is eliminated and supporters of that candidate have their ballots transferred to their next ranked choice. That process would continue until someone has a majority vote. It would eliminate the need for runoff elections, which traditionally have low turnout, are considered less equitable, and are more expensive. When we see in runoffs, uh, we've looked at runoffs all the way back to 1994 in all federal primary runoffs, and we saw that there was often larger declines in, among uh, communities of color. But Austin voters are still being asked to go to the polls right now because of Texas election code. That's why House Representative Vicki Goodwin has once again filed a bill that would allow for preferential voting in nonpartisan elections. It didn't make it through committee last session. The elections committee was very focused on other things, and so the, the bill did not get a hearing. But this time, I'm hopeful we'll have a different committee chair, we'll have a different committee makeup, and perhaps we'll get some traction on it this time. As of Tuesday morning, just short of 30,000 people had voted in the runoff election in Travis County. That's less than 5% of registered voters. Compare that to November, where nearly 500,000 people showed up to vote in our county. An estimate from Travis County shows the December runoff will cost Austin more than $860,000. The city said they do not yet have estimates from Williamson or Hayes counties. Grace Reader, KXAN News. And the Texas Secretary of State's office pointed to a 2001 opinion from former Secretary of State Henry Cuellar and a 2003 legal opinion from then Attorney General Greg Abbott reaffirming the state law. Both sided with the code as written.